Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about micro carrier cultures and their importance from an industrial point of view. Micro carrier cultures can be used to obtain high yield culture of anchorage dependent cells. The micro carrier culture, the cells grow in monolayers on top of a sphere like structures known as micro carrier beads. So, this is a typical micro carrier bead surrounding which animal cells which are anchorage dependent can grow and proliferate. There are certain aspects of this particular culture system. Let us look at that. First of all, the biggest advantage of using this strategy is the yield. Yield could be boosted up to 200 million cells per milliliter and that's a lot from an industrial point of view. Further surface characteristics have been optimized for efficient attachment of the mammalian cells and such that these cells can grow nicely on this surface. Second, size and density are optimized to facilitate higher yield. Lastly, these beads are inert, so they do not really interact with the cells and they are not toxic to the cells. Due to these characteristics, these kind of beads are really interesting from an industrial point of view when we want to produce a lot of mammalian cells which are anchorage dependent. Now microcarrier culture can give rise to high yield but we have to understand what is the real benefit from an industrial point of view. It is difficult to scale up anchorage dependent culture and the biggest problem is the surface area. Anchorage dependent cells grow on a substratum. So if the surface is limited, their growth would be also limited, right? And this kind of limitation can be overcome in the lab via several kind of aspects. For example, in the cell culture lab, we can use a bigger flask which has a greater surface area to overcome these challenges. But what happens in industry when we have to produce millions of cells and extract product out of them, right? And we might have no choice other than using an anchorage dependent cell. In that kind of scenario, how we can scale up our culture volume? And the answer is micro using of microcarrier. So this is a normal culture and this is a culture which uses a microcarrier. When we use microcarrier, cells can grow on the substratum as well as on the microcarrier beads simply we have more cells growing in this particular culture co when compared to a normal culture. Let us look at a quick data. So this curve show that using microcarrier beads in a culture system, the cellular yield could be increased several folds and that is highly cost effective, beneficial from an industrial point of view. Now let us look at the advantages of the microcarrier uh, culture system. So they are essential when the surface surfaces are needed for anchorage dependent cells. They are also inexpensive. Next, the microcarrier technology results in homogeneous culture system and that is really scalable. Lastly, because of their large surface area to volume ratio, they occupy very less space in terms of storage, production or waste handling. So overall, it has a lot of advantage. Now let me tell you about few specific aspect where these kind of culture systems were used. In order to produce vaccines against herpes simplex virus, cytodex microcarrier beads were used. In terms of production of interferons which are used in several immune therapies or cancer therapies, these kind of microcarrier beads are really helpful. And in terms of generating monoclonal antibody which has medicinal values or therapeutic values, Frequently, microcarrier based cultures are used in the industry. So, we learn that microcarrier based cultures are pretty valuable from an industrial point of view. They might not be so interesting from a laboratory point of view, but they are really interesting from an industrial point of view where there is a cost to benefit ratio. So, if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to check out all my playlists. You can follow me in Instagram or in Facebook. Do let me know in the comment if you have any suggestions. Thank you.